What's up guys, Xbox Tech Junkie back today with another video. Last week's video, we discussed the Phantom Magenta. This week's video, we are unboxing the Cyberpunk 2077 Johnny Silverhand Limited Edition controller. That is a mouthful. Uh, but yeah, I finally got the controller in, ordered it actually only two days ago, so it's a fast shipping. Uh, retails for about $74.99 after tax, roughly $78. Um, here's the box. The back of it shows just kind of like what the controller looks like, both front and back. Obviously gives you some more, you know, inner details. Um, does say, upgrade your input. Live the mercenary life with a limited edition Cyberpunk 2077 controller inspired by Johnny Silverhand. If you don't know who Johnny Silverhand is, I believe he was the character who was going to be played by Keanu Reeves uh, that we saw last E3. Uh, but the rest of the box is pretty typical in terms of kind of what they put on it. Um, cool, you know, coloring and all that. But besides that, it's just still a regular Xbox controller box so let's go ahead and open this guy up and take one look and she da -da 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 -da. there she is and now I actually like really like the design because even though it's still like just the regular old um, plastic that they use for the controllers it still feel or it looks almost robotic which was probably or not probably but what they were going for um, Ooh, and I like that. So the no future on here that you can roughly see is lasered etched in. So it does have some sort of texture. Uh, one thing I noticed when they were discussing this controller is they did say that the thumbstick pieces are offset. So, you know, you have a gray with a red and then you have a dark gray with a dark gray. I think I really like it. It's kind of a cool little take on the Xbox controller. Um, on the back, you do have the Samurai logo which is on the back of the character in the 2077 e3 and one thing i didn't actually notice about this until now is there is a textured grip on the back kind of like on the elite series one so it doesn't do the full wrap like the series two but just the regular wrap uh, that the series one had but overall this controller is really cool uh same thing kind of what i had with the magenta is i'm still really surprised that microsoft is using um, micro USB still since they're switching over to USB type C over onto the series X controllers. Um, I just kind of think with them moving on, they should just kind of start putting USB type C on these controllers. Uh, overall though, controller is really gorgeous looking. Cannot wait to get this thing in use. One thing I would have thought would have been really cool about this controller is if this lit up like red instead of just the regular white. I feel like that would have just kind of made the whole controller pop, especially it would go good with, you know, the red and black ABXY, the red right trigger, and then obviously the red thumbstick. But overall, controller is beautiful. Some other things I just want to discuss with the controller though is basic design is, is it's split off into like this, uh, you know, more robotic and then more non-robotic. If you look up the Johnny Silverhand uh, character from 2077, you'll definitely see where all of his inspirations do come from. The actual... Um, Samurai logo, I believe, just comes from the character who you'll be playing as. Um, and then other stuff just kind of has the name of some of the companies, the XT7 Pro, No Future. I really do like the scratched up look that they put on here. Like, it, it really makes it look like it's um, it's seen some, you know, better days, definitely. But, yeah. So, with that, as always, time to take off the current king and swap it with a new king, which is now the 2077 controller. Um, let me know what you guys think about the controller. I will definitely give another review about it next week, just discussing more, kind of using it. Obviously, there's not going to be something crazy in depth just because it's still a typical Xbox uh, One controller. There's nothing really super crazy special about it besides the texture grip and then the overall design of it. I definitely would recommend this if you're a huge 2077 fan. Uh, Cyberpunk does release, uh, I believe, September of this year. I'm super excited for it, and I'm really excited to see that Xbox One X Cyberpunk Limited Edition out in the open. I kind of wish I could get one, but saving money for the Series X is a little more important than a uh, you know paint job onto a One X. It is a cool, it is more than a paint job, but it is really cool. So last things I want to discuss before I end the video. One new thing that we've seen this past week with Xbox is a new logo. Now, it's not necessarily a new Sphere logo or anything like that. It's actually more of a logo for... Uh, the different Xbox Series models that will be, be coming out. Obviously, we're still waiting for the inevitable release or reveal, I guess, of the quote-unquote Xbox Lockhart, which is the cheaper slash weaker model of the Series lineup. Um, but the current logo that I'm discussing, 
was technically leaked through trademark. Uh, but the I guess head of marketing, Aaron Greenberg, did have this same logo as his profile picture on, I believe, Twitter and Instagram. So I was like, hey, that's something I can talk about. Uh, essentially, it's a very basic logo. Um, it's either white or black. And then depending on what color the background is, the font is white or black, just, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll show a picture of it at the end of this video. Uh, but essentially what it is, is it has the word series just kind of like going up uh, vertically. And then it just has the X next to it. So, I mean, it's very basic, but also very cool. Um, I want to discuss something else in terms of product packaging next week, uh, but we'll get more into that later. But I'm pretty excited to see that that logo on the different consoles, especially if there is going to be like a Series S for, you know, slimmer. Series uh, A for, or sorry, Series D or E or anything for digital, whatever they want to talk about. Um, it'd be just kind of cool to see how they, you know, brand each console with this type of logo. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, let me know what you think of the Johnny Silverhand 277 controller. I'm super excited to, you know, be able to play with it and use it. And I'm super excited for it. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, definitely pick one up if you're wanting to. There's also a cool, I think it's five terabyte hard drive that's designed from Cyberpunk. And then obviously the Xbox One X bundle coming this June. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next video.